Hi everybody, Houston Singletary with Ableton. Want to take you through a couple more features. Want to show you those new instruments in Suite 8 as well as some of those new audio effects in Live 8 and Suite 8. And a couple of handy tools that, that you can work with in the downloadable demo or in the regular version of Live that will help you through some of the things we talked about today as well as some features that are more advanced and that can, that can speed you up in your production process. So let's talk about Suite 8 for a minute. Suite 8 is the same interface, the same amount of tracks, everything under the hood with the exception that you've got all these instruments right here that I'm going to point out to you. We've got the analog synth. We've got collision. It's our brand new physical modeling instrument. You see right here. We've also got electric. It's our electric piano. Physical modeling is fantastic. It's one of my favorite instruments. We've also got the new enhanced operator. Operator's been around for several versions of live. Uh, the guys in the Ableton Ableton team have gone in, they've overhauled it, taken the hood off, got in there and re reworked some of the features. Now it sounds better than ever. It's really, really powerful, so that's a new operator. And also tension, another physical modeling plucked uh, string style instrument, as well as Latin percussion, uh, fantastic uh, uh, percussion instrument with all kinds of multi-velocity uh, percussion, obviously instruments and uh, clips that are also built in with a performance uh, um, advancements in there that can take you through. You can load those clips and it'll play all those different uh, parameters of those particular instruments as well within Latin percussion. Also, session drums, a huge multi-gig library of multi-velocity, multi-layer drum kits, and uh, as well as drum machines, fantastic uh, analog drum machines recreated and sampled uh, in a fantastic way in Suite 8 as well as built-in sounds. We've got some zero-G loops, some Cycling 74 audio loops, tons of content, lots of it, big DVD box set that you can uh, check out online or in this, or in your store. So that's Suite 8. Again, all those instruments are the bonus, so definitely check it out. And online, if you, if you check out the demo, you can actually get a 14-day free trial and check out some of those instruments as well. So be sure to check out Suite 8 along with Live 8 as we, like we've been talking about today. And some of the audio effects I want to show you that are part of Live 8 and Suite 8. And both of the and, and the audio effects work in both programs. So what I'm going to show you, we have our brand new multiband compressor. Very very expansive, very very powerful mastering tool, allowing uh, compression, upward downward expansion, all built under one interface, allowing some fantastic ways to work with audio. We have our new overdrive, okay, basically built along that pedal stomp box technology in the 70s and 80s with those cool guitar effects. So lots of overdrive and distortion features there, as well. We got our new frequency shifter. Brand new in Live 8 and Suite 8, which is really, really cool. You get in there and work with those multiple bands and ring mods and things like that. It's also a fantastic phaser by tricking it out just a little bit. So you can, again, working with those different frequency bands. And uh, the new limiter, which is really, really cool. It's just stick that on your master bus, and you got some really, really nice uh, limiting. Straightforward, brick wall, very, very transparent, very, very powerful. And last but not least, as an audio effect, one of my favorite features is the vocoder. Got a new tutorial that's online in our, our YouTube page that I'm walking you through talking about vocoder, vocoder, how to use your voice and get in there and accent that. So you can see a lot of flexibility here in vocoder as well. So those are the new audio effects. Those are the new instruments uh, in Suite 8. So both of these programs can get you totally dialed in with uh, tons of new effects and new, new features and instruments. So the other thing I want to show you as we're working and walking through these different tutorials today, sometimes you'll get in a jam and you're like, man, I, I wish I could remember what he was talking about or when I was in the studio with that other live guy and he was doing something with like warping and it'd be great to go right up here. We have a handy feature called Help View. The manual is always there. That PDF is always going to be there if you need it. But we've got Help View. It's been part of live for a very, very long time. And I click that and over here to the right, I've got a customized step-by-step -step tutorials and explanations of features all inside the program. It works concurrently with what's happening in your interface. Right, so now I'm working with a recording, monitoring how to set up to record guitar vocals. If I want to go back to the top, I can say, that's cool. What about, um, what about creating beats and working with warping? Here we go. We talked about warping in one of the earlier tutorials. So it shows how to go in, work with our MIDI note editor, work with our grid, aligning all that kind of stuff. So you can see, it takes us straight to our instruments, talks about our different drum kits, takes us on a basic tour of live. There's also some really handy sets that you can actually launch from the help view that load up in live so you can work side by side. It's like, hey, let's take a tour of the effects or warping. You can load that set, follow the directions to the right. So it's like having a, a helper right there with you the whole time. So that's a look at the help view. And then last but not least, down here in the bottom left is the info view. And the info view is great because if I go, let's go back to uh, 
our vocoder, for example, or if we wanted to, here we go, we'll stick on vocoder. Info view opens up with this little tiny triangle window. We just open it right there. And once we go to, say, something like audio effects, and we'll do something like, I don't know, our multiband dynamics, watch what happens as I move my cursor around in the info view. It gives you a total explanation of actually what's happening. There's our solo, our high band, our split frequency. It takes us into the, to the workspace here. It talks about our threshold. So we're working with that. It gives all the different info, information and explanations of all these different features. If I've got a particular audio clip, for example, and load that in, double click it. Now as I move my cursor around here, earlier we talked about warping, time stretching, warp markers. See right there? It talks about the new pseudo warp, warp markers. It talks about the new warping modes. So info view, you can leave that open the whole time and you'll be really surprised how handy that comes into play. So, so that's a look at Live 8 and Suite 8 here at GearWire. It was great to be here and work with you guys. Um, so go to ableton.com, download that demo if you don't already own Live. You're able to move in there for 14 days, free trial. You can save, export, and do all the different things that you see me work with here today with Live 8 and Suite 8. So until next time, Houston Singletary, we'll see you.